So, hello, guys and girls. Long time no speak. So, I hope everyone is well. And uh, I suppose I may as well start apologising with. It's taken so long to get another video up. Um, you haven't heard from me since the stressless ride out. And it's going to be a long vlog because there's a lot to cover. Um, first of all, you're probably seeing this little chap right here. Just thought I'd get a, another camera perspective on the go. And yes, all you're seeing at the moment is me, but it's movable. It can go in different parts of the bike and all the rest of it, so I'll probably be mixing that up. And uh, yeah, seeing how that one works out to be fair. So what's been happening since the stressless? Well, uh, there's been some good things, there's been some not some good things, there's been busy things, and there's been some awesome things. So we'll start off with, um, I suppose, where I've been and why I've not been about. After the stressless ride out, I uh, decided to unplug for a little while. It was, you know, that was 22 days of uh, daily uploads I was doing. And, uh, you know, the, because I was doing that, I was missing out on a lot of family time. So, I decided to unplug for a little bit and um, spend some time with the family. And with that, also, done a fair bit of overtime at work. Um, so that's long hours as well, mixing between uh, day shifts and back shifts, mostly back shifts I was doing actually, so wasn't getting a, a hell of a lot of time, not even a lot of time spent with the family, so it all added up, um, and hence why no sign of me and no videos have been uploading. Um, so yeah, sorry for that guys, but if you're watching this back on it now, there should be more to come. Um, where did that lead to? Oh yeah, from the stress list as well. Um, you remember the nice guys at Freedom MCC? That let us go to their clubhouse, higher 66 after it. Yeah, you might be able to see already, but I got the patch on, so I'm prospecting for them just now. And uh, yeah, that's really good. It's what been... This is my second month with them. And um, I'm heading up there just now actually, and it's been great, good bunch of lads, uh, some great crack, and you know we get to be up at the bike stop that they do all the time, um, and in the clubhouses there you know you can use it whenever you want. And speaking of them, uh, every second and fourth Sunday of the month is when they do the bike stop. Now that was... When the stressless rider happens, was when one of their bike stops was organised, it was on the same day, so it tied in nice. <clears throat> so that's where it all kind of started from. Uh, but it's still going until the kind of season finishes off. I don't know when they're going to knock it on the head. Uh, the last one that we got, probably just seen that hit me. Um, that last Sunday, hi Sunday just there, was. Um, it was really good, with, with good numbers up at it. You know, I'm getting some new members out of it, or a new member out of it. So we're still looking for new members as well, if anybody's interested. Uh, you know, you can come along on a, one of the bike stop days um, and talk to some of the guys if you're interested in being a member. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I'd recommend it to anyone, to be fair. I really would. I've enjoyed my time there and I can see myself being there for a, a good while as well. Alright, uh, so that be that. Oh, Mike Mike Motorbike. Right, dude. 
I never even tweeted. I've got your package. All right, thank you very much for it. And I'll put in a little video of going through it just now so you see what I got. Um, it did turn up a few weeks ago. Um, but, oh, I say, but things have just been hectic. So thank you very much. And here's a little video of what I got inside it. So, I have received some mail um, all the way from the States from Mike Mike Motorbike. Let's have a little look at the goodies that we've got. Ooh! Here we go. So we have Mike's business card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like them. And we have some Mike Mike motorbike key rings. They should be getting used, buddy. And here we have a Fort Custer training site. Commemorative coin. Training souls since 1917. Now Fort Custer, if I remember rightly, was made, well said since 1917. Um, was built in 1917 to train troops during the First World War. If I remember rightly. Ah, damn well job. I'm not taking credit for that, buddy. I've already read your letter. <laughs> and um, it's very nice of him because he did put in. You know, a wee thank you bit for the stuff that you received from me and then the information on uh, Fort Custer, obviously named after General Custer. Um, but then it's what it done, how it was founded, World War Two training, what it done during the Cold War. Um, I believe another sheet is just a... Yeah, his, his grandfather trained at Fort Custer during his time in the Navy. So, um... Thank you very much, Mike. I know this is um, a very belated response, um, but if you watch the rest of the video, you'll, you'll understand why. But that is absolutely cracking, buddy. I ain't seen one of them before. Fantastic. And uh, I shall get one of them on the big key. It needs a new key ring. And no doubt the missus will want one. So, um, thanks very much, buddy. Cheers! Right, so what else has been going on? Um, well, since I've been talking about the stress list, here's a wee bit of... Oh, man, look at that. Not a reason, not telling a justification for it. Um, but it's now became it's now became pretty personal to me now we're going to carry it on every year and I know when I said the last time I had a mate that had been up to combat stress well I found out just the other day um, that a guy that was in my platoon a friend of mine it sadly became one of the statistics and uh, he just he, he couldn't deal with what he was going through it wasn't so much um, PTSD, it was depression um, but yeah it was, uh, it was too much and that's the kind of the thing that combat stress can help with. So, so yeah, more of an effort for it next year, to say the least.
Right, right on a happier note, um, Mrs Tartan is now 26 weeks along in her pregnancy and we baby Tartan is due on January 22nd and we know it's a wee boy um, and chuffed, actually chuffed that it's a wee boy so I can't wait for that wee man to come along and uh, no doubt totally upset and destroy our routine making his presence felt but you know all part and parcel so as you begin that's something to look forward to so after be saying there's this might be, this might be, oh, I'll start again. After me saying this might be quite a long vlog, I seem to have got it out. There's a, oh, directions, that's, that's a good one. On this video I'm going to put in the directions to Hangar 66. That's uh, Freedom's Clubhouse, that's where they do the bike stops. It can be a little confusing if you don't know the area. It's in Ardea. Um but you can see the way I go from here. If you know where Morrison's is, just outside Co-Winning, um, I'm going to start it from there at the roundabout and then take directions right into the clubhouse. So if anybody wants to come along, um, follow the directions. And this will also be going on Freedom MCC's um, Facebook page and website and all the rest of it. So you can catch up there. All the links are below. And if you want to be a member or thinking about joining as a member, I'll put links down to the Facebook page as well and you can just drop them a, a message if you want if you want to do it that way to see what the score is if you can't make it along to any of the bike stops that'll be the best way of doing it uh, the guy you'll talk to is uh, a guy called Chris he's the secretary uh, well, his nickname's Hoppy you know, he'll be the one that'll get the message and he'll answer it but he deals with all the memberships and everything anyway so he'll be the man to talk to or if you just want to turn up and talk to us, yeah, you know, just turn up and talk to us. Don't know how many, I do believe they want to put a cap limit on the number of members that we have. Um, so I'm not sure if it's just going to be, you know, maybe another five spaces left or something like that. Uh, they might only want, I was talking to the, the press the other day. I think he's going to cap it at like 20, 25 members. So we're pretty close to those kind of numbers just now. So if you're interested in it, you know, if you want a place to hang out, if you're wanting that brotherhood and camaraderie within bikers, you know, come along, guys. It's a great place. It's a great clubhouse that we've got. Um, you know, it's a good size. Pool table in it. You can get drinks, all the rest of it. That's one thing about the bike stop. You know, you don't just come along for a chat. You can buy... Uh, food and drink and all the rest of it. Uh, get yourself burgers, hot dogs, um, rolls and slice rolls and not pretty much any kind of breakfast roll you can think of. Tea, coffee, cold drinks. So yeah, it's all good. Some good crack as well. And the bike stop starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and finishes at 4 in the afternoon. So you can come along any time and shoot the shit as they say. So that is, you know, pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, I thought I'd have more to say. I guess I was kind of caught up in all the goss. Um, yeah, next one I'll actually have something to to talk about. This was just a, hi, I'm back. And um, why I was away. And thanks to the subscribers, you know, for sticking around. Um, I think out of my absence I've lost one subscriber. But, uh, sitting at 84, it's fantastic. So we're not far away from the big 100. And I think we'll do a giveaway at the 100 as well. I'll get something that's organised. So I'll leave it there guys. Um, I'll stick in the wee video now of the the route and how to get to hang if you want to come along to the bike stop and I'll put all the links in below so remember to like the video guys drop me a comment say hi 
Uh, add me as a friend on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I will be more active on there, I promise I'll be getting back to you all. So in the meantime guys, right safe, and I'll catch you later.